finally, The Rock has come back to IPOs, baby. What's going on, you guys? My name is Hussein. Welcome back to the IPO Nerd, the best place to learn about new companies going public and how to invest in them. America's number one IPO on this channel. So today, it's been a minute, guys, but today I'm super excited because I'm bringing you Sondors, the makers of electric bikes, right, out from California. So you guys are really going to like this video. They're going to be IPOing in here very soon. You're going to learn everything you need to know about the company because you're in the right place. So make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's get right into it. Sondor. So we are a California-based, design-focused, electric mobility company manufacturing and delivering premium electric bicycles and an electric motorcycle, guys, according to IPO Scoop. Here's your IPO details. All right, guys, so the company was founded in 2013. They have 17 employees, a very small company. They're looking to raise $22.5 million during this IPO. Their share price is going to be anywhere from $8 to $10 per share. They are going to be IPOing on February 2nd, guys, so mark your calendars. And their ticker symbol is going to be SODR for Sundoors. I'll leave this up on the screen so you guys can take a screenshot. And that was your IPO details. Are you an IPO nerd? Join my Patreon for extra perks and shout outs. Also, learn how to create and promote your own brand with my marketing masterclass available now. Link in the description. All right, guys, let's check out their website to learn more about the company right here. Now, keep in mind, everything that I'm going to be going over on this video can be found in the description of this video. Also, we're going to go over the numbers over here in a minute from the S1. So let's check out their website. First and foremost, go beyond expectation, premium design, power, speed and range. They have different types of vehicles, so you can choose your ride, all-terrain bikes, foldable bikes, I guess, you know, for convenience, mountain bikes, signature bikes, and motorcycle, guys. That's the one motorcycle that they do make. It's called the motorcycle. Uh, this is pretty cool, guys. I mean, I, if you have one or if you know anyone that has one, please let me know in the comments below. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to this website. So here's all the uh, different prices and the different types, guys. Any type of signature bike is going to run you maybe four, close to $4,000. The foldable bikes is going to be anywhere from $2,000 to $250,000. Uh, 250, from $2,000 to $250, right? Then you have your motorcycle. That's probably the most expensive one, right? Because it's an actual motorcycle, right? $6,500. And you can just keep scrolling through here and looking at different prices, guys. I do like the way they look. If we click on products and we can explore the different types of bikes that they have, right? They have the all-terrain, you have the foldable bikes right here, you have the uh, mountain bikes, which, you know, they're pretty good. They're pretty good if you're living out in California, you want to hit the trails, right? It's probably be your best option. You have your signature e-bikes and then you have your metal cycle if you want to get up on the highway or on the country roads and all that, right? So let's go ahead and click on, just for the hack of it, let's go ahead and click on the mountain bikes, right? See what we got. Around <laughs> here, you can scroll down and you can see the different types of uh, bikes that they do offer. Now, they do have a battery information here. They have the hub, which is the drive that they use. The motor, the motor is 750 watts, guys. So depending on how fast you want to go, right? up to 20 miles per hour top speed on this uh, mountain bike, right? Then you have your Rockstar, and that goes a little bit faster right here, 28 miles per hour, right? And so forth, but it's gonna cost you a little bit more of money. When you're buying stuff like this, you gotta look at the range, the battery life, right? The miles per hour and all that good stuff. So make sure that you choose the right type of bicycle for your needs, okay? But as far as I designs and everything else, I do love what I'm seeing. I do love the way they look. Sondors is a premium electric transportation company built around radical design and total commitment to creating a more sustainable future 
All of our products have iconic style and unique personality. This is true. I think they are very pretty, right, guys? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. The founder, Storm Sunders, treats design and engineering as his own form of entertainment. His maverick spirit of fun and hard wire into the DNA of each and every Sundors. Perfect for trails, trailways, roadways. Every Sundor goes beyond the way we live. Sundors is a highly skilled specialist in design and manufacturing and the creator of an award-winning Sundors electric bike. Sundors has delivered electric bikes to 72 countries since 2015. So these guys are global, right? That's pretty cool. But you know me, I'm all about the numbers, right? So let's look at the S1 in this little segment I like to call by the numbers. All right, guys, so this is as of September 30, 2022. The company has a market cap of $146 million. They have $24.3 million in total assets, $29.2 million in total liabilities, so just a little bit more than assets, right? $16.7 million in total revenue in the last quarter, $4.2 million net loss, so the company is not profitable. And $1 million in cash and cash equivalents. Not a lot of money in the bank, but hopefully this cash infusion from this IPO will help the company develop more uh, products. All this can be found in the link in the description on the S1. And that is by the numbers. All right, so what do you guys think about the Sundors electric bikes? I do like what they are doing. I do like the way they look. They look amazing, guys. I wish I could take one out on the road right now and try it out, you know? But uh, I do like the numbers. They're not that bad from the price. Eight to ten dollars per share. Mm, on the lower end, I prefer, you know, around maybe eight dollars per share. Maybe I'll grab a few shares myself. But hey, guys. It's just my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not investing in financial advice. So make sure you do your own research. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, guys, if you like this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. But more important than that, make sure you guys take care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon. I bring up the pain, Rick and the mind. I make the market rain like acid rain. And the best investment channel you ever known, y'all. I take your girl, your house, your money, and leave you broke, son.